Thanks for joining us again this week for our Wednesday devotion. Remember to like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'd love to connect and encourage you. Today I wanted us to consider being brave. Our reading is from Hebrews chapter 11, verses 17 to 31. By faith, Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. He who had embraced the promises was about to sacrifice his one and only son. Even though God had said to him, It is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. Abraham reasoned that God could even raise the dead. And so, in a manner of speaking, he did receive Isaac back from the dead. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau in regard to their future. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of Joseph's sons and worshipped as he leaned on the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph when his end was near, spoke about the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt and gave instructions concerning the burial of his bones. By faith, Moses. Moses' parents hid him for three months after he was born because they saw he was no ordinary child and they were not afraid of the king's edict. By faith Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. In regarding disgrace for the sake of Christ as of greater value than the treasure of Egypt. Because he was looking ahead to his reward. By faith he left Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He persevered because he saw him who is invisible. By faith he kept the Passover and the application of blood, so the destroyer of the firstborn would not touch the firstborn of Israel. By faith the people passed through the Red Sea as on dry land. But when the Egyptians tried to do so, they were drowned. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell after the army had marched around them for seven days. By faith, the, Ra the prostitute Rahab, because she welcomed the spies, was not killed with those who were disobedient. Who are our heroes? Those in the Bible. Those in life. Who are our heroes? Who are those brave people you and I admire? Maybe they're found in a story. Maybe they're found in a movie. Maybe they are found in real life. Most of our, the heroes... We have shown bravery of some kind. Most of our cultural references points for bravery include heroic actions like storming into a burning building, risking everything on an unlikely deal, risking your safety for others. The call to bravery is not just about mustering up courage in the face of overwhelming odds. Bravery exists whenever someone engages in right action at the expense of their own comfort. Cowardice, on the other hand, exists when someone chooses self-protection at the expense of right action. It is possible to appear brave to others 
while actually behaving in a cowardly way. Bravery exists in an environment of high optimism. We must cultivate a culture of bravery and brave actions. Bravery is doing the right thing as best you know it, even when that might be an uncomfortable thing. It is needed today more than ever in our homes, in our churches, in our streets, in our schools. Most bravery in the world is shown in small everyday actions, not big efforts. Bravery is a choice. People who choose to do the right thing in the face of personal cost are choosing to sacrifice their life and comfort for a better future. They're not superhuman. They are perhaps the most fully human. Bravery is action in spite of fear. People who act bravery feel fear, feel insecure. As much as any of us. It is just that they choose cause over comfort. Abraham, Moses, Joseph, Jesus, us. Choose cause over comfort. Bravery is a willingness to fail in the pursuit of what matters. Bravery is not a stupid risk. A brave person counts the costs and decides to act because the cost of inaction is simply too hard to bear. Bravery is not just for a select few. There are opportunities to be brave everywhere and every day for everyone. There is a need for bravery in our homes, our places of work, our relationships, our neighbourhoods, wherever we do life. Be brave! While brave actions often happen in a flash, the source of those actions are deeply held beliefs about what is right and wrong and a vision for a better and brighter and hopeful future. Hold on to that. A vision for a better future. Choose cause over comfort. From Psalm 31, verse 24. Be strong and take heart, all of you who hope in the Lord. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. We pray that you are doing better in faith and in life.